to make it easier for you all to translate. Check the description or the comments below. Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video. Finally a new event is up, the Day of the Dead Lua event made by Bolo, Def Chaco, and Albinoska, who did the art. <laughs> this event was recycled from 2018 but is just as fun. The event is based on the 2017 movie Coco, and the final t title was voted upon by us TFM players on Discord, with the title of Remember Me Winning. A lot of people are kind of salty about that, which is actually a heartfelt song in that movie itself. The options were Pinata, Dance Macabre, Calavera, Mariachi, Calica, Marigold, Remember Me, and Guitar Mouse as the options. So Bolo said that this event will last for one month from today, so till October 30th, which will be the last day probably. Anyways, you need at least four mice in the room the whole time to get this event. So it happens every 15 minutes after you first have four mice in the room. The same way that the time travel Lua worked, you'll see some similar elements between the other Luas and this one too. So after that first Lua map in that room, it will come one hour later. So basically if people ask you like, what time does it come? It takes one hour for it to come after it first initially comes in that room. So to get this done faster and not have to wait so long, you can join slash chat event to see people making Lua rooms with consecutive numbers once the event has happened in that room. I managed to juggle two or three different newly made rooms just to farm this event, and that's why it only took me two hours and ten minutes to do this whole event, and along with some tips I'm going to tell you guys. So there are basically three stages in this event. Number one, you have to collect the confetti papers and bring it back to the pinata. Number two, you have to collect the candies and bring it back to the pinata. And then stage number three, which can actually be done at any stage of this event, but I personally did it at the end, and it is where you have to get the guitar back to Miguel Rivera. This is the day of the dead where the dead and the living can party together. <laughs> Let's shake the bones. For the first stage, there are 12 confetti papers across the map, which is in the same location for everyone. You must collect as many as you can by pressing the down arrow key or the S on your keyboard or the spacebar. I personally prefer using the spacebar on the items and there is a counter at the bottom right to keep track. Don't forget to deposit them to the pinata before time runs out, else it will all be lost as the next event map, the counter will get reset back to zero, even if you have collected some stuff before. You can deposit the items by clicking the pinata or the down arrow key or spacebar when you are on the pinata, not near it, but on it. As you can see, this is the fastest route to get the confetti, and you can get them all. I managed to get all 12 every single time when I wasn't recording, because recording actually makes me quite laggy and wastes like 20 to 30 seconds of my time, which we cannot afford to waste, because the map is for like 1 minute and 40 to 45 seconds. Anyways, here is the quickest route to get all 12 of them each round. So I made a map and I, I showed you the drawing of the map of the route that you should take. The first time I ever played it was in my main update video, which is a video I uploaded right before this one, where I didn't know all the locations, and so I did get only like 6 that time. But all the other times I got all 12 of them, with 10 to 18 seconds left over. You can totally do that if you follow the way that I do it. If you can get all 12 each time, it will take you 6 maps to complete it. And as you can see by the bar, I took a picture of it after every time I collected 12 of them. So you need a total of 80 confetti papers to fill the bar. When the bar is full, you will get this message. Yay! Thank you very much! Ses Sesame is feeling much better now. It's time to prepare the sweets and the music. Press the space bar to close the dialog. It's going to be that every time. You're going to have to press space to close the dialog every time. When you complete the confetti stage 1 of this event, you will get this orb, aka cartouche. Last time it was whenever you finished the guitar part of it, that was in 2018, but this time it's after you finish the confetti portion apparently. That's what one of my friends just told me. So I actually already got this in the Halloween chest last year, so that's why it didn't show up for me. And you also get 5 pumpkin throwables and 5 pinata pets which are also currently tradable in the village, where you can get two of them for five racing coins. Actually edit that, because it just changed an hour later, so it's not in the village right now, but be sure to check the village at another time and maybe you might find them there. For those who need 
even more help on climbing, here are some points you can use to know when to jump up to the next ground. I have circled the areas which will work for you, so anyone who's really new at this or really needs some more extra help, here you go. That's just some suggestion. Now on to stage two. You do the exact same thing as stage one, except here the candies will appear after 15 seconds at a time and switch locations every 15 seconds, so you must be quick. It is the same locations as the confetti papers, but only three candies show up at a time. The map is really big, so there is no point in running to the far left for the first one, because the only candy you can get in the first 15 seconds are the ones that'll show up on your right side or on the box. So I suggest following the same route that I showed you earlier till you are on the rooftop and then see where the candies are. Zooming out is a good idea for this map, so you can see all the candy locations. If you get six candies in one map, they will stop spawning more as six is the limit per map in this round, aka in stage two. Don't forget to go back and click the pinata in time. Depending on your skill level at how fast you can wall jump and the luck of these candy locations, you can average between five and six candies each round, four if you're slower. The candies are spawned at random locations for everyone at the stage. No two people will necessarily have the same pattern. Here is how mine went. It took me eight maps to complete it, but the quickest one, if you can get six every time, would be seven maps, since there is a total of 42 candies to fill the bar, give or take. If you can see a candy is too far and you won't be able to make it in time, here's a pro tip. Like, don't try to go for it, because if you go there and miss it, then you will take just as long to get back to the building where there are many more candies and you'll miss those as well. So you'll miss two sets of the candies. So it's best to wait at the rooftop for the candies to change if you can't actually reach them in time. So it's best for you to wait at the rooftop for the candies to change to a closer, more accessible location that you can actually go to. Once you have filled up the bar, you can get this skull badge on your profile. People may have it already like I do. So I did not win a badge, but I got it from a Halloween chest last year. Others may have done the event in 2018, so they have it already as well. Same thing goes with the orb in my case. So when you're finished, when you finish stage two, you get the badge and you get two throwable pumpkins and eight pinata pets. Wow, thank you very much for your help. Now we all can relax and party with the dead. Press spacebar to close the dialogue. This is officially done with the two step process of this whole thing. So that's why you also get this orange message down below as well. Wow, what a lovely pumpkin sweet. <laughs> what? Wow, what a lovely pumpkin sweet you are. Now the ghosts can finally party and eat sugar. Thanks to Mirabelle for bringing the dead to our world. This is the character of Mirabelle, by the way, is the one who's wearing the sugar skull fur. Bolo Defi Taco for coding the whole magic and Albinoska to draw everything that's used in this awesome event. Now to talk about stage three. This can actually be done earlier in the event too. It is like a separate mission where you have to bring Miguel back his guitar. It is a form of Simon Says. This is the one where you are the most pressed for time if you do not know how to do it. And the only way to be able to do it in good time is if you follow my steps I tell you. So one of my friends actually took like six or seven tries just now to do it before asking me how to do it. And then after I told them like the tips, they were able to get it on their next turn, so yay. The candies will show up, but as you can see, when, when I do it, nothing happens since my bar is already full. It is just there. <laughs> Alright, so when the map starts, follow the same route I showed you before. Go right up the boxes to the roof to Miguel Rivera. Click on him and keep moving to the left on the rooftops. Oh, dear citizen, I was so worried about Sesame's paw. I totally forgot about my guitar. I think I lost it. Without it, there won't be music and the festival will be ruined. Can you help me find it? If so, let me show you the lyrics. Press space to close the dialogue. Press the space bar and get ready to write down the pattern. My biggest tip for you to save time is to get that pattern started right away and save time by moving to the left while it happens. You can do this by holding down the left arrow key or the A on your keyboard and press the enter key while the A or arrow key is still pressed. Now you can let go of the A or arrow key after you've pressed the enter bar because now it's going to move to the chat box. So now your mouse will keep moving while you can chat 
in the type well you can type in the chat box. I waited to jump over that space on the roof, but you can actually go down to the left left like straight away. You don't have to actually jump over it. You can just keep going down the roof. So you can go down to the left that way as well since it will lead you to the guitar just as fast. I would use the numbers 1 to 4 to remember the pattern of the guitar. The left one, which is red in color, would be number 1, and the rightmost one, which is blue, would be number 4. So I would just type out the numbers as they light up. You will have reached the guitar, which is under the tree on the far left side of this map, before the pattern is even over. Once the guitar has lit up 13 times, meaning that you should have 13 numbers written down in your chat box, it will disappear from your screen so that you can click the guitar handle which is hidden over here under the tree. And you can click the guitar handle of the one that's under the tree and replicate the pattern. You can do this while moving back the same way, but the faster route is actually going upwards from here. And you might mess that up, mess up the pattern as well because you had to go upwards so you had to keep moving as well. So yeah, you might mess up the pattern, so it's best to do the whole pattern before you head back. You should have enough time if you followed my tips. But be careful to click the correct guitar and wait for it to light up and then dim back down before you click the next number in the pattern, else it does not count and it might mess up. If you do mess up, it make, it still makes you finish it, like it won't tell you that, it messed, that you messed up right away, but then after you've finished doing all the 13 clicks, it will then give you this message in the chat box. Don't let the ghosts scare you, pay attention to the colors and make it correct the next time. And you cannot click the guitar again to retry right away. You'll have to go all the way back up to Miguel and then come back to be able to re-enter the pattern, for which you honestly have no time at all. So if you do mess up, you will have to wait for the next event map to come. The pattern changes every time you get the map, so there is no point remembering the previous pattern. It is random. Once you have successfully entered the pattern, it will show your mouse carrying the guitar, climb up the golden bridge, and keep going right up after you've climbed the roof and back to Miguel in time. I had 15 seconds left over. So if you follow my method, you should have some time left over. You click on Miguel and the moment that you do, you will have completed the event. Congratulations. It gave another two thro throwable pumpkins and eight pinata pets. Also, it moves you down into the window for the rest of that event map time and has you dance. If you get the guitar, but do not make it back in time to Miguel, you will have to redo the whole step three from getting the pattern from Miguel to going to the guitar and bringing it back. Yippee! You found it! Oh, my dead mice! Thank you so much! Now everybody is going to listen to my awesome music. Press spacebar to close the dialogue. <laughs> so that is pretty much all there is to it. So once you have completed the whole event, being all the three steps, whether the last thing you did was the guitar part the way I did, or if you ended up doing the candies part at the very end, it will give you the Remember Me title, which is new for this year of 2021. That is the whole tutorial for this event. I really hope that this helped for I made it as simple as possible for even the very beginners of Transformice to be able to do this. And another point is, if you do get the map anytime else, you can try going to the different locations and spam the down arrow key because you might actually get some consumables. So I tried doing that and I found out if you go all the way to the left under the tree and then you spam the down arrow key, at some point it will it gave me a an orange paint consumable. So check any of the other locations and spam the down arrow key to see if you can get any other random consumables hidden in this whole map. And do let me know in the comments below what they are and I'll either pin them or I'll add it to the description below as well. And thanks for watching you guys. Do like and subscribe please for future events and tutorials. Kid Angel out. Peace.